Okay, today I'm uh, hooking up this Vivor diesel heater in my mechanical room, the cabin. I'm going to put it, change that 2x4 to 2x6 so I can have this uh, vent connection through it and hook on the exhaust hose. Should be quite good and safe because this is just temporary for winter months. And then in the summer, take it out. So let's get a two by six. It's got to be 21 and an eighth. fit. Okay, now time to cut the vent hole. went dead and I just got it. Now will this fit through? Perfect. See I wanted to leave a little space just so there's less chance of the 2x6 heating up. Got another gasket, another plate. Thought I heard the squirrel. The squirrel lives around here. There we go, should work. Nice. I'll throw a little silicone around there just for the season. It'll come out easy in the spring. Okay, on this, it's a good idea to put some uh, legs up a little higher, unless you're on concrete or something. But I put two by four on either end. That way, uh, the 90 is going to be, you know, a good three inches off 
off any wood surface. And of course, you've got to always keep an eye on things as they're running and heating. Now we'll attach it on to the out vent. And then uh, I've got to go put the muffler on. This muffler was aftermarket, just a little better, better quality, a little, makes things a little quieter. This was the original pipe that came with it. But I'm going to use it to extend out away from the building. We'll slide that one on. And we'll put this on the muffler. Oh. Put my C-clamp on first, or my clamp, I mean, not C-clamp. Pressure clamp. go. I'm just going to leave it out here like a 90. Let it roll straight down. Okay, I got uh, an adapter. This one puts out about 13 volt when I test it. So it should run this no problem. And these plugins are hooked to my Blue Eddy and I remember my other video. So we'll try and fire it up and see what it's going to take for watts here. I've got this remote, which is very handy. I can start it right from my room or anywhere. It goes about, I don't know, 100 feet or something. So let's start her up. going on over here uh, 13 20 59 64 I think it takes about a hundred and forty or something yeah, I'm wrong. It just takes a significant amount until it until it heats up. You can feel your warm air coming out. So you got the vent on, and I'm gonna just go right through my window. This used to be the outside of the cabin. Okay, after a couple of minutes, the uh, fuel, you can hear the fuel pump kick in and start pumping fuel. I actually couldn't use the adapter. I think it's slightly different power or something because you have to hook it, for me anyway, directly to a battery. It's, a different, it's another battery bank I have down here. And then it works fine. This panel is going to be going out up onto the roof with another panel two panels to charge those two batteries so that should be plenty power and yeah she's starting to fire up here I do have a um, unboxing video and demonstration video already so I will link it up top somewhere and you can check that out if you want this isn't really an unboxing or uh, a review because I already did that. I'm just telling you how I'm doing it. It's really pushing out now, pushing out the heat. I just open the window and you can see it moving the curtains there. It's really pushing out the heat now. The tank should last a good uh, 10 hours, five liters, to keep it down, not not full blast. But it's supposed to be about 20%, 20 or 30% cheaper than propane. So, uh, just another way of heating. This is all temporary, till, you know, just for the winter. This would be additional heat. The way, way I like to use it is uh, in the morning, you know, when the fire is burnt out in the wood stove usually. A few coals left. 
you just kick on the diesel heater or the propane heaters, get the things warming up while you just get another wood fire going. But the main source, like 90%, 95% is going to be wood. But I wanted to get uh, three ways of heating, why not, in case one goes out on me. Okay, once it gets going and smooths out, quieters down some. I'm not too worried about the noise because uh, when I'm over in the other part of the cabin, you won't hear anything. Let's get the heat gun and see how we're doing for heat. Okay, heat gun. Let's try the exhaust here. Right here is uh, 86. Going out is about 50, 53. That's Celsius. And underneath, how about on the wood there? 26. Yeah, so there's plenty of space there. I don't think I think it'll be fine. And I don't have I don't have it all the way up, which I won't anyway, because it puts it's blowing out a lot of heat there, a lot of volume. And heat coming out of there, you can see it on the heat gun or not. But you can trust me, it's 82 degrees right now. 82 Celsius blowing into the cabin. You like it, Puss Puss? No, nope, she's taking off. Doesn't like it. Well, let's go outside and see what we're looking at. Yeah, it's only uh, on the flanger, it's only 20, so it's not even getting hot. So this wood is going to be completely fine, nothing's going to happen there. The exhaust itself, huh, amazingly cool also. Ow, 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 ow. A little too hot to touch, but it's about 30, 27, 28. But the exhaust, because it, it kind of it restricts the uh, flow a bit, I guess. It's like 44C. So that's going to work phenomenal. I'll just seal that up. That panel, like I say, is going to be up, going up top with another one. So we'll keep uh, those batteries topped up. I think it's going to work well. There's an additional form of heat. Uh, what else can I say here? Not much, I guess. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll link that other video, and I'll also put links in the description if you think uh, you want to look into this further and get more information. But yeah, the remote's nice and handy. You can go up if you want to increase the temperature. It's a plus button and a negative button. But you know, I'm going to keep it fairly low. Keep it low, less noise, better better diesel economy or fuel economy. But yet we still got on low we got still 89 coming out. 86, 81, 89. So that definitely blows. Basically up and down seems to increase to lower the fan speed. Hopefully you got something out of this video. I'm gonna Clean things up here a bit and uh, seal up that window, get that panel moved up and uh, carry on with my day. Still got a bunch of wood to split outside. I went and bought a load, a trailer and a truck, kind of level, pickup truck load, for 50 bucks. But I have to split it. It was bucked up though. So that'll save me some time. So let me know if you got anything out of this video. Let me know if you want to see something else around the homestead here. It's going to take a while to get everything set up the way I want it. But uh, just going to take my time here. 
So have a great day and remember, never stop dreaming. Canadian Dreamer, out. <laughs>